It doesn't seem to make sense. What some people have been doing day after day in an upscale neighborhood is very curious. Nobody's been able to figure it out. But News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker is very good at figuring things out. And when he started digging into this mystery, he uncovered a secret deal that's raising eyebrows and questions. Just when you think you've seen it all, along comes something like this. A bit unusual. Yes, it's very unusual. Something strange is going on in Santa Fe's upscale Guadalupe district. It's an area known for unique shops and distinctive restaurants. And just off a side street is a parking lot frequented by dozens of mysterious strangers. They park here, nonchalantly stroll towards a cinder block wall, then discreetly disappear. All day long, cars are abandoned here and drivers vanish over the wall. Later, returning from some unknown mission, they hop the wall, slip back in their cars, and vanish. Who are these guys? CIA? NSA? KGB? No, it's the CGB, or as it's more commonly known around Santa Fe, the Cowgirl Barbecue. You see, the curious wall jumpers aren't on some secret mission. They're restaurant employees going to work. And when they park here, they do so in violation of state policy and regulation. You see, this parking lot is at the heart of a state government scandal cooked up by this guy, Larry Campos, head of the state workforce connection office in Santa Fe. Campos improperly allowed a private business free use of government property. We caught up with him on his commute home at the Railrunner station. What I'm asking you is, how a state employee can give a private business a benefit that nobody else in the public gets. Oh, that's not true. That's true. I don't have the authority to do that. To understand what's happened here, you have to put Santa Fe parking in context. Now, this area along Guadalupe is a very popular tourist destination, but parking's limited, very limited. Now, the State Labor Department parking lot is right here. It's just across the street and a very tempting place to park, but it's strictly off limits. Selena Bussey is the Workforce Solutions Cabinet Secretary. Those parking lots are for our state business and state customers only. Parking here is strictly enforced with sternly worded signs. And just to make sure everyone gets the message, a security guard patrols the lot. Unauthorized visitors are warned, don't park here. This is a tollway zone, no exceptions. Well, just one. If you don't work for Car Girl, you have to park over there. It's all been kept very hush hush. A secret deal allowing Cowgirl employees free, unlimited, exclusive use of state property. Some restaurant employees use Cowgirl stickers on the dash as identification. And some workers are provided forged state parking permits so that Cowgirl cars are left alone. Everyone else? risk getting towed. Those Calgar employees have, are using these permits here, which are fabricated. They how, are did, how did they get those? Those are fabricated. Who made them? Who gave them to them? My security guard. State property is under the control of the New Mexico General Services Department. Ed Burkle is cabinet secretary. What's the authority of state employees to allow the private use of state property? State employees are really do not have any authority to pick and choose uh, which private contractors may use a public facility. That would be outside their authority. Was it okay for Larry Campos to allow a private business to covertly park in a state parking lot? No, we've asked all of our staff to understand um, that under no circumstance is it appropriate for those type of parking arrangements to be made. Sir, you don't control that lot, do you? No. You don't have the authority to Absolutely. hand out free parking, do you? No, no. Okay. But you did it in this case. Maybe in this case, it was a bad judgment. Maybe I stepped on the wrong, you know, did the wrong thing. I, I admit it. Parking lots as well as buildings are for state purposes only, and that any prior decisions that had been made to do anything contrary to that need to be corrected because they are not in accordance with our policy. So what's in it for Larry Campos? Well, one confidential source told us the high-ranking state employee 
bragged about free and discounted food. What do you get in return? What have you gotten? Do they, do they, do they pay you for this? No, no, we put people to work. We don't get any kind of return. Do you get any discounts in food or catering? Never. Cowgirl owner Nick Bowles told us the restaurant does not provide any incentive or compensation to compost in exchange for the free employee parking. He says the cowgirl does routinely provide discounts to everyone in the area. That, he says, is just being neighborly. If you find that an employee was receiving some sort of benefit for a private arrangement regarding that parking lot, what do you do about it? Um, it would absolutely be investigated immediately. Um, any such suggestions or allegations we take incredibly seriously at the department in terms of our role as public servants. Any such activity would never be tolerated. In the future, the department says it will issue official parking permits only to employees and customers. These permits are null and void. In terms of the restaurant access to that parking lot from this day forward, what is your direction? Um, the direction will be to communicate with the owner of that restaurant um, that regardless of any prior decisions or directives that they've been given, that their employees or their customers have access to the parking lot, that for normal business hours and for the purposes of state business, that is the only access that the parking lot will be afforded. Now, it would appear to be the end of the trail for the cowgirls' free ride. Secretary Bussey said the state's informal parking arrangement would be put to an immediate end. It wasn't. Last week, 10 days after this interview, cowgirl employees were still permitted free, unlimited use of state property. In fact, the only action state officials have taken is to put up new signs. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. Okay, but Secretary Bussey told us Friday she was unaware her staff had not shut down that unusual parking arrangement, but now, she says, the cowgirl deal has been stopped. Online, we have a closer look at those forged parking permits. Very interesting. You can see them at krqe.com. Just click on investigates. It's like trying to find